Good morning, everybody. I'm out here doing some trapping. I set some uh, bottom edge sets, colony trap right there, and then one right here. There's a feeder creek coming in around this bend in the main stream. And then uh, bottom edge sets just simply against the bridge wall at the bottom or an undercut bank. So you can see that right there on that edge. Good spot. Took a lot of muskrat and mink. And then I got one over here. I set it 6:30. I'm just out here baiting pocket sets, so got a few more uh, to go look at. But I like to hug these uh, walls. See that right there? I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's a log jam, and the water's coming out, so they kind of follow it and they hit the edge. Kind of got to think about what these critters are going to be doing, and you know, you learn that with time, with experience. Here's another set. So, um, it's right, looks like there's something in there. I just set these probably three or four hours ago. Ha, we got a rat. Yep, he's stuck in there good. So, yeah, awesome. I wasn't expecting that already. The creek, the creek, you know, it's getting higher. The water's getting higher, so. Um, nice little rat. The water's getting higher, so they kind of, you know, they can feed more, and then they get flooded out of hiding spots, and then, you know, they'll hug these walls and get on logs and look for other holes, so. This is one of my favorite bridges. Well, I got a few more pocket sets to check. Um, like I said, I kind of reset them this morning and I, got, I forgot the bait, so. Gotta go grab bait and then um, get those going. But uh, thanks to everybody subscribed already. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, like, comment down below. Love to hear from you guys. All right. Thanks, guys. There's another one of my pocket sets right there now. Um, this bridge is right here, and they run out. I've shown this set before. It goes up and in, and then the trap is right there in front of it. It's not in it. You'll catch some coon, but that way if a mink investigates and he doesn't fully commit, you're still going to get him. Now, this water isn't quite deep enough to drown them, but it is a good set and i just check more frequently and i use a larger size trap so instead of using a one and a half or a long spring i'll use a number two and i'll lighten the pan set okay um so that way it catches them high and they're less apt to get out and it usually kills them so and i kind of set it at an angle so they step through the jaws rather than over it um and i still keep the ball the dog a little bit you know angled towards the back so that's how I do those sets in these shallow waters. And then you got like root systems right here. I snare mink too. Um, I use small game snares. Make sure you use swivels because they spin a lot. Um, and see, there's a good little spot where they come up and underneath. Um, they love these kind of things. Usually there's a lot of tracks right here. So, you know, I'll set a snare down in there and then block it off. So I'll set the snare right there and I'll block it off and make a little cubby with sticks. And two inch loop, two inches off the ground, I usually catch them. If you don't want a snare, if you don't, you know, you can't legally or you just don't want to try it, snuggle 110 up there or put another larger trap with a light pan set. And uh, you'll eventually get a passing mink. They love the root systems, they love the undercut banks. Um, they're inquisitive little creatures, that's for sure. They like checking stuff out. All right, let's go check this other pocket set I put in this morning. We gotta put some bait in it. The water's been high, it's just now lowering, so the rats are really moving. Uh, been a good day so far. Caught, caught a few just from the traps I set this morning. So um, I forgot my bait at home. 
So I had to go back. I'm using Dunlap's mink lure and uh, Lennon's All Call Weasel. It works good for mink and muskrat. So, all right, favorite pocket set. Caught a number of muskrats here. Still haven't landed the mink yet, but uh, looks like we got another rat. Sure do. So. We're gonna get him out of there and reset the set. All right. Yeah, I love these pocket sets, especially when the water starts getting higher. You'll catch a lot of rats. They'll clog them. Um, I'm gonna show you the setup again in case you guys haven't seen it before. So, I just tie it off to a brick. I use one and a half coil. Um, so, there's that. And it's ready to be set up, so I'll show you guys. So you tie your trap it. off and in deep. That way they drown. And then. I just place it like so, kind of at an angle so they step through it, not over it. There we go, just like that. I kind of have the dog facing the back side. Um, I dig them back about 16 inches, in and up, and then I leave a little flat in the back. And then you take your lure. I use Dunlap's uh, mink lure. Um, and you can find that in the link in the description. I'll post that and put that in there tonight. And you can get that on Amazon or DunlapBluers.com. And I just put it on a stick and I put it up in the back. And uh, yeah, so works pretty good.